Hey, I'm Captain Chris Baldwin with Bear Knot Fishing in Ketchikan, Alaska. On this video, I'm going to go over how we fish for halibut. Generally speaking, we, we find halibut on sandy bottoms. Uh, they could be anywhere, they could be in the rocks. Uh, um, we've caught them trolling for salmon, but more often than not, uh, we, we find them in sandy bottoms from anywhere from 150 to 350 feet. Spend the winters off the edge of the continental shelf in about one to 2,000 feet of water spawning, uh, and they tend to migrate in during the summer. Uh, so generally speaking, uh, earlier in the season, you're going to be fishing a little deeper, you know, four to uh, 250, somewhere in there. Uh, come July, August, September, they'll be up uh, into to 100 feet. The larger the fish are all female. And so because of that, here in Southeast, we have a slot limit, and that protects those larger females. Uh, another interesting thing is uh, uh, it takes about seven years for a, a female to be able to to reproduce and a small female will lay about 10,000 eggs and a large one will lay about two and a half million. So generally the best time to fish for halibut is right at the tide change. That's when the, the, these currents are slowing down and the fish just tend to come alive and that's true for salmon, halibut, um, uh, many other species, rockfish, lingcod. That being said, the biggest halibut I've ever had on my boat was in the middle of the biggest tide of the year, which on paper was the worst time to fish for halibut, but it just goes to show that you can catch them anytime. There's three main rigs I use for halibut, and uh, we did a whole video on this, so if you want to check it out, go to exclusivealaska.com. There's a number of different types of baits you could use. Uh, herring's my favorite, uh, squid's pretty good, salmon. So halibut fish and you're just chunking it. Yep, just something down there so they could smell the lures. All right, so down at 220 feet, uh, there's very little light. We have the glow-in-the-dark squid, something they could see. These tentacles make a noise, something they could hear. And now we're giving them something they could smell. Rod's baited up, ready to go. Uh, one thing I like to do with this setup is get it in, make sure everything looks straight before you drop it down. Uh, once it's ready to go, open up the bail and just let it go. So there's a number of different ways you could jig this. Uh, sometimes they like more action, sometimes less. Uh, most often it doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing you want to focus on is what type of hook you're using. And once you get that bite, how to hook the fish. If you're using a circle hook, I, I like to tell people just start reeling. You just want to give a nice steady pressure. Okay, if you're using a J hook or like uh, the B2 setup, uh, you want to give it a nice little set, about like that. You don't want to rip its lips off. Remember this is braided, it has very little stretch. Um, with the lead heads, uh, hook setups should look about like that. You want an aggressive, you really want to, it's a big hook and you really want to drive that hook home. So one of the things I love about bottom fishing is you never know what you're going to catch. Uh, we commonly catch uh, rockfish, Pacific cod, black cod. Uh, we'll catch ling cod out here, halibut fishing. Um, and they all kind of hang out in the same areas and it's just part of the fun of bottom fishing. Have a pretty nice halibut on. Uh, when you get a fish on, here, it's just slow and steady. Uh, you see the bend in the rod? You want to keep that rod bent at all times because this keeps tension on the line. So I just put it right here in the hip, left arm goes in front of the reel, and I just slowly ease it up. So when the fish comes up, I know it's exciting and you might want to go and take a look over the side, but the best thing is to just work with the captain and do exactly as he says so that you have the best chance of getting this fish in the boat. We're very careful how we set these drags. So when you're fighting a fish or anytime on our boats, you really don't want to touch the drag or adjust it or make any adjustments to the reel unless the captain tells you to do so. I see. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, that's a butt. There you go. It's a pretty nice one too. Good job, Jack. So you can see this is a perfect hook set right in the corner of this mouth. Halibut have this bony section around their mouth and that circle hook really grabs it and just holds on to them. Here we go, this is a beautiful halibut. Yeah, more videos like this or to, <laughs> or to book a fishing trip, check us out at exclusivealaska.com.